Oh, God. This bite is better than the previous bite. Quick, cheap, and reliable, fast food is the ultimate comfort food for many people. While we all have our favorite restaurant chain, the battle between each franchise for who is top dog in the fast food game is a fierce one. With that in mind, we look to the future to see which fast food joint will earn that top spot. Here are the top 10 fast food chains in America in 2020. Uh, your gasps are appropriate because I have perfectly predicted the future. Panera Bread. You love bread. I know that about you. The only newcomer to the list in 2020 is Panera Bread. Panera has recently announced their plans aimed at expanding their reach. They want to continue to grow in both locations and sales in 2020. They've already got a very loyal core group of fans and are looking to spread into more wide appeal, as their fresh, health-conscious offerings are becoming more popular with the fast food consuming public. Panera was acquired by a holding company back in 2017 for the massive sum of $7.5 billion. Are you Crazy! That is more money than anyone's ever had! And this has spurred their recent growth. They've also revamped their coffee menu and are working hard at rounding out their dinner menu with items like artisan flatbreads, bowls, and hearty sides. There is clearly a plan to grow beyond the lunch crowd, which they've already captured. This growth is obvious as they've made the top 10 fast food chains in 2020. I'm so proud of you. Domino's. I'm calling Domino's. I think Domino's delivers to this restaurant? I hope so. Domino's is the only pizza chain to make the top 10 fast food chains in 2020. Keep in mind, this list is based off of sales, so don't be upset if you prefer Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, Papa John's, or any other pizza chain, as this just means Domino's did more sales than the rest. Right, can't argue with that. This goes to show Domino's has had an increased dominance in the fast food pizza space over the years with their plentiful advertising, innovations like their pizza tracker, intuitive online ordering, and lightning fast delivery that has given them a step up on the competition. While the pizza chain industry as a whole has been flat sales wise, Domino's has shown growths of around 20%. I'm a little better than everyone else here. They are showing no signs signs of slowing down in 2020, as they are projecting similar same-store sales growth and are planning to open up 2,000 more locations by 2025. The future is definitely bright for this pizza giant. Dunkin' Donuts. That's good for five bucks at Dunkin' Donuts. Any Dunkin' Donuts. This baked goods and coffee chain has seen many changes and updates over the past few years, including removing donuts from their name. They've been working hard on modernizing their stores with things like digital menus, new espresso machines, new drinks, two-lane drive throughs all to make the customer experience an even better one. Other changes include modernizing the interior of the stores with things like front-facing bakery cases instead of everything behind the counter, and an expanded grab-and-go section. All of this and the exterior facelifts many stores received have really given Dunkin' a more contemporary Temporary feel that the modern consumer is drawn to. Want to talk real customers? Kid, that's me. I'm like the mayor of Duncan. So while Duncan has actually dropped a few spots on the list from years past, they are clearly aware of that fact and have rebranded and refocused heavily on giving customers an improved experience and modernizing, which we believe will move them back up the list in the years to come. You can do this, man. I have faith in you. Wendy's. How's my favorite Wendy? Where's the beef? One of the biggest rises and transformations in fast food in recent years has been Wendy's. The old-fashioned style food restaurant has seen a dramatic facelift as they look to take on burger big shot McDonald's. Famous for its square burger patties and fresh never frozen beef, Wendy's was founded in Columbus, Ohio by Dave Thomas in the late 1960s. Naming the restaurant after his fourth daughter, Thomas wanted to produce good old-fashioned food that the whole family could enjoy. The 
inspiration for Wendy's famous square patties actually came about when Thomas visited the burger restaurant QP Hamburgers. Because the square patties stuck out of the side of the bun, customers could see the quality of the meat, which is exactly the spirit Thomas wanted to instill in his new restaurant. Good quality food. He's always offered the same high quality meals at competitive prices. While it may have taken Wendy's a little longer to reach the top end of the fast food royalty, the company has taken steps to modernize the brand to keep it strong and relevant in the future. The focus is still on quality, as well as new procedures in place to source better and more animal-friendly meat for its burgers, plus stepping up their healthier option game by adding more nutritious meals to their menus, Wendy's has also been working hard on productivity and cutting waiting times while still maintaining their high standards of food. All of these reasons go a long way to ensure that the red-haired queen of burgers is rising ever higher in the fast food world. I want to be top dog for once instead of just dog. Burger King. There sits the only king. I mean to bend my knee to. Burger King was steadily falling on this list, but are now making a comeback. Going into 2020, Burger King is on the rise, and there are a few factors that are responsible for this. They've made some really clever advertising initiatives, including their recent Whopper Detour promotion, in which Burger King offered the classic Whopper for one cent if customers used the BK app to order it within 600 feet of any McDonald's locations. That was so evil! <laughs> But extremely effective. The BK app topped the charts in Apple's App Store during the campaign. Another unforgettable ad was their 45-second-long Super Bowl ad, which featured old-style footage of Andy Warhol slowly unwrapping and eating a Whopper. They've also partnered with Impossible Foods to release a plant-based version of the Whopper called the Impossible Whopper, which has been a huge success for the company. The Impossible Whopper was limited to certain stores, but they now plan on rolling it out to many more locations in the near future. Another avenue they plan on increasing is breakfast, having recently released a coffee subscription program that offers customers unlimited coffee for only $5 a month. So look out for Burger King to continue this growth moving forward. They even plan on reaching 40,000 stores globally by the year 2030, which would mean more locations than even McDonald's. Is that even possible? Chick-fil-A. I need you to stop at a Chick-fil-A. A what? Energy. Chick-fil-A is one of the biggest family-owned businesses in the country. It prides itself on its family-themed image. Starting from humble beginnings, the company was founded in Georgia by S. Truett Cathy. After years of making a living, just about, in the fast food industry, Cathy came across a pressure cooker that could cook chicken as fast as a burger. How did you come up with this brilliant invention of yours? Following this eureka moment, Cathy trademarked the name Chick-fil-A in the 1960s and made it his mission to bring great tasting and fast chicken to the country. Hey, I will not rest until I get this done for you guys. Focusing on the chicken sandwich, Chick-fil-A soon became one of the country's leaders in great tasting chicken products. Chick-fil-A takes great care and pride when it comes to speed of food and the quality of service it provides its customers, as Chick-fil-A continues to be the largest chicken-focused fast food chain in the country. And that includes the fact that every single restaurant closes on Sundays. Taco Bell. You want to do something fun? You want to go to Taco Bell? Next, we come to the biggest Mexican-American fast food restaurant in the country. Taco Bell was founded in the early 1960s by Glenn Bell. Incidentally, Bell tried his hand at pretty much every item of fast food before he settled on tacos. Starting with a hot dog stand in San Bernardino, Bell then moved to sell hot dogs and burgers. Soon, he added tacos to his menu, which proved to be more popular, so he focused on them and opened taco stands. Tacos Morelos? Sounds good to me. Once the 1960s hit, Bell was ready to unleash Taco Bell on the world. Originally, Taco Bell was a window service only restaurant and had no indoor seating or drive through. Taco Bell started to take off, and the company grew into the chain we love today. Famed for its tasty tacos, as well as being a lot of people's go to place for late night snacks, Taco Bell continues to hold its own against the big hitters of the fast food world. And this trend looks set to carry on in 2020. Stay strong, brother. Stay strong. 
Subway. I'm proud to present to you the future of Subway sandwiches. Subway is one of the fastest growing restaurant chains in the history of fast food. In fact, it has so many outlets that in the U.S. alone, Subway almost has more restaurants than McDonald's and Starbucks combined, which is a staggering number. No, 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 that's not true. That can't be true. It's super true. Famed for selling sub sandwiches, Subway paved the way for the healthier option in fast food. The other big concept that set Subway apart from other fast food chains in the beginning was that you could actually see your meal being made. Rather than having it prepared out of sight by people you couldn't see, Subway made your sandwich in front of your very eyes. Add to that the fact that you could tailor everything about your meal – bread, filling, sauce, etc. – Subway became a real fast food trailblazer. Of course, many restaurants and fast food outlets do the same thing now, but Subway was one of the first. While being among the first means they've built a stable of loyal customers over the years, it's the great sandwiches and low prices that really keep them coming back over and over again. Eat fresh? Eat fresh. That's my man! Some of their best sellers include the Spicy Italian, Turkey Breast, Roast Beef, Subway Club, and Sweet Onion Chicken Teriyaki. Subway continues to be a fast food giant coming into 2020 and stands firmly in the top three. Starbucks. That girl at Starbucks smiles at everybody, Lutz. Everybody! Starting out in Seattle, Starbucks burst onto the fast food scene and very quickly became one of the hottest names in food and coffee. Creating more of a concept and lifestyle rather than just a restaurant, Starbucks found itself as the forerunner and face of a whole pop culture movement during the 90s. Even decades later, Starbucks continues to promote its unique concept and brand management. And we, the public, are still lapping it up. So you drink? unsweetened cinnamon light soy lattes. It's like Christmas in a cup. Not only has Starbucks prided themselves on their style, but also their customer care. After all, has anyone ever been served by a grumpy or rude staff member? There may be the odd exception, but we certainly haven't. Starbucks takes a lot of time and effort with its staff, and it shows. It is no wonder that Starbucks is still the biggest coffee outlet in the world, and now the second biggest fast food chain overall. While many, many coffee shops and chains have opened up since Starbucks made it big, they all pale in comparison to the true leaders and rulers of the coffee world. Okay, they're bowing, bowing. Don't have to tell me twice. I love a good bow. McDonald's. What do you want from McDonald's? Chicken nuggets. Was there seriously any doubt which fast food chain would come out as number one? Whether you're scoring based on financials, popularity, or brand awareness, McDonald's continues to be the world leader and number one. Starting out as a simple burger stand back in the 1940s by the McDonald brothers, Richard and Morris, their new concept of fast food proved a big hit. However, it wasn't until entrepreneur and salesman Ray Kroc got involved that the McDonald's brand really started to sell. Franchise. Big pardon? Franchise. Franchise the damn thing. Croc franchised the new system across the country and turned it into the fast food leader we know and love today. It has been reported that McDonald's sells an average of 75 fast food items per second across the globe, and this could increase as they now have entered the delivery market with third-party companies such as Uber Eats and DoorDash. McDonald's has been at the forefront of fast food for decades, and they look to stay number one for decades to come. All this talk of fast food makes us want a Big Mac. Hungry. So hungry. Tap that screen and we'll deliver more great Babble Top videos just for you. And if you haven't joined our notification squad yet, show us some love and slam that subscribe button and ring on that bell.